My name's Mark Kelly and I am the keyboard player in Marillion um, and have been for nearly 40 years. I joined the band in November 1981. Um, my first gig with the band was on the 1st of December 1981 at the Great Northern Pub in Cambridge. Um, funnily enough, we'll be playing Cambridge almost 40 years to the day um, this year. So, um, yeah, I was playing in another band, a band called Chemical Alice, back in Essex, in Romford in Essex, and Marillion were our support act. This is all fresh in my mind at the moment because I'm working on an autobiography. So um, <laughs> I've just been writing about this. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it seems like yesterday when, when Fish and Mick Pointer came up to me after the gig and said, we want you to join our band. And I said... Um, what about your keyboard player? And Fish just went, he's history. Um, my first influence, um, I started off listening to sort of glam, glam rock pop bands that in, the, in the early 70s and then graduated on from there to um, hearing Rick Wakeman's Journey to the Centre of the Earth and was completely enchanted by this music with the orchestra and the narration and the story. It was a concept album, so that was my introduction to progressive rock and to keyboards. Um, and from there I sort of got into the whole prog rock 70s thing, you know, Genesis, yes, Pink Floyd, all that. And, and my, my musical taste has, has you know, I, I, I like a lot of modern stuff as well, but um, but I'm still, my, my, my musical heart is still in the 1970s progressive rock, I have to say. I'm feeling really creative at the moment, actually. You know, years ago, I remember I used to struggle to come up with any musical ideas that I liked. And I don't know whether it's just because we've, we've managed to hone this way of working with jamming, but it really suits me. I, I, what makes me tick is coming up with... Um, great sounds, sounds that inspire me and then the sounds then lead on to the music so um, that's that's how I how I work. Um, I think it's fairly known certainly amongst the Marillion fans that I like running although I've hurt my foot and I can't run at the moment which is driving me crazy um, but yes I love running and um, other things I mean you know I've, I've Apart from, I actually like cooking. That's something I've discovered. I, I, um, I was living on my own with my three younger children a few years ago and um, had to learn to cook. And at first it was a real chore and then I actually started to enjoy it. And I, I actually really enjoy cooking now. So that's something I've come to quite late in life. What's your, what's your signature dish? Though? My signature dish? No, I don't have anything really special. I like things like... Um, you know, like a white fish with a tarragon sauce, or I make a pretty good lasagna. I can do, you know, the pretty the sort of stuff that kids will eat, really, to be honest. My favourite Marillion album is, I mean, it'd be easy for me to say, oh, the last one, because everybody, is, it's, it's almost a um, cliche, isn't it, to say, oh, my last album or our last album was my favourite. Um, I think if I had to choose just one, it would be Marbles, just because it's, not just because it's a double album and it's got a lot of, lot of choice of songs, but it, I think it covers quite a, a nice range of what we're capable of as a band. Um, so yeah, Marbles. It's really difficult. I mean, it's hard enough to name a favourite album, naming a favourite song. I think, you know, favourite songs, it's like favourite children. You, sh you, you, can't really <laughs> you shouldn't and can't do it, really. So I, I don't have a favourite Marillion song. I think if I had to choose one, it would be This Strange Engine. Just because it's so much fun to play live. Now you got me stumped. My most memorable Marillion moment. Um, God, the Royal Albert Hall in 2017, um, that was special, really special. I mean, how did you feel when you were sort of on the stage looking out at the auditorium and the crowd and the reaction? Well, one, I, it sounds terrible, but I never really enjoyed 
playing live as much as I did being in the studio for many years. And, and although I really enjoy it now, um, I feel a bit more relaxed about it. Um, it was always like, it always felt to me like I'm operating machinery or you know, doing something more technical than being an artist, you know. And so with all the computers and the keyboard stuff, you know, there's always potential for things to go wrong. Suddenly there'll be like an, an issue that needs to be dealt with. So I never really got lost in the music, well, very rarely anyway. Um, and that was one night where it felt like everything was working perfectly. The band were on fire. We had the extra musicians with us, which was just really raising the whole quality of the sound. Um, and so that was like totally everything worked and, and it was a great night. Hello YouTubers, remember to like this channel, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification thingamajig so you get updated when we add things to this channel. You know it makes sense. <laughs>